Hey YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Epson Workforce 3640. Basically, if you're having any issues with your print quality, a certain color just isn't printing or an overall print quality issue, or even if you have an error code, I'm gonna show you a method today that's gonna help you solve that problem. So the first thing you're gonna wanna go ahead and do is you're, you're gonna wanna check out your ink. Now I have found that the main uh, cause of you having an issue with your print head or print quality is gonna come from your ink. If you are running your ink too low, all the way down to the end of its uh, cycle, that is what's gonna be causing that problem. So I'm gonna leave a link right now in the description below. Go ahead down there now and uh, click on the link where you can buy some uh, brand new 252 Epson ink and make this project contingent upon you getting this new ink. All right, so once you are here, once you've got your print head here, you're gonna wanna grab your print head and move it to the side. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and shut off your printer. All right, so next you're gonna wanna have a paper towel just like this and you're gonna slide it. You're actually gonna place it right down here and you're gonna slide your print head right over it. Very easy. What you're gonna wanna have after that is a syringe. You're gonna wanna have a cleaning kit, which I'm also gonna leave a link to in the description below. Very affordable for you to go ahead and get, and it's gonna have enough cleaning solution for you to um, run, run a few cleaning cycles on it. So once you get your syringe, you're gonna go ahead and put your um, syringe right over the nozzle. Now, if you're having a problem with a certain color, I would highly recommend that you start with that color. So if it's black, I'm on black now, and I'm just going to push this solution right through. Now this kit comes with uh, some gloves, it's going to come with a syringe just like this, and some cleaning solution. It also comes with some instructions, so as you can see there, I'm pushing pretty much all of the solution right through. And that's what you want to do. Okay. Be very careful, always have another towel handy so that you can clean uh, clean off the syringe. Okay, you're gonna wanna fill your syringe back up and you're gonna wanna start it cleaning again. Now, if I would honestly just clean all these nozzles, even if you're having a um, problem with just one color. While you're here, just clean all the nozzles so that you um, get that out of the way and you can have those clean as well. So you would just repeat the process and just be very gentle with it. And, and, and within the instructions, it's going to tell you to warm up the solution. I never do, but that would make it a lot easier going through. Uh, but this is not having a problem. As you can see, it's going right through. Just be very patient with this. Don't stress out about it. And you're just going to go ahead and push the majority of it you don't want to push all the cleaning solution through because then the towel on the bottom gets a little bit too wet um, but what you will end up doing is once you clean all of them once you're gonna to want to go over them one more time I usually do it twice so one um, half of a half of a syringe bottle push through each nozzle and you can do it more than that if you need to so that's enough there and then I would just go to the next one uh, let's say I'm not having too much of a problem with magenta, and I'll just go ahead and push that all through there. Make sure you watch this video all the way until the end um, so that you kind of know everything, every step you need to take, and you do this properly the first time. The last thing you want to do is rush through this. So now I'm on yellow. You do not want to rush through this because, you know, this is the video that's going to end up helping you. I'm going to explain everything very thoroughly. And if you have any questions at all, you can always comment below. I do a very good job of responding um, to most uh, questions that I get on this channel. All right. So once you're done there... You're going to slide that over and your towel, if you notice, is going to be completely drenched in your solution. So, you're, you know, if you're doing this a second time, you're going to want to swap this out.
Now remember, you shut off the printer, so the printer should not be on at this point. But assuming that you've done this a second time, um, go ahead and wait until you have your brand new ink. Once you have your new ink, you're going to put it right back in there. You can go ahead and uh, print a test page. Okay, so of course you can always run a um, cleaning cycle through the printer through the printer itself but of course you've already tried this um, but just to show you even after you've done this you can even run this um, you can go to maintenance and uh, you can go ahead and select print head cleaning you should have tried this already if you have not done this step that's the first thing you're gonna you're gonna want to try if you haven't done it already now after you've um, clean the print head the next thing you're, you're going to want to do is print head nozzle check and that is where you're able to um, put some paper through and um, you know test it out to see if you're still having a print quality issue this method uh, works 95 percent of the time if it doesn't work it's because there's a print head issue now if you're having a print head issue if you're having a print head issue um, the print heads on these printers are not able to be changed so you're really going to need to just buy a new printer now if you wanted to keep the same printer you didn't want to get a new one because the ink is fairly uh, inexpensive or for whatever reason i'm going to leave a link in the description below for this printer go ahead and look for it down there and i'm also going to leave a link to a few others that use similar ink that is if the cleaning did not work and you're still having uh, a lot of issues or now you have an error code if you have an error code on this printer cleaning the print head could potentially solve that uh, but for the most part you're I, I recommend always whenever this cleaning does not work because this is really um, the most I would recommend someone a consumer doing because it's fairly inexpensive again that print head uh, there's the link in the description below cleaning kit is very straightforward um, it's very um, easy to do and that's why I recommend it but anything more than this I really just recommend getting a new printer now if you just wanted to shop around for another printer or you wanted more printer advice um, go ahead and go to my website bestprinterstech.com there's gonna be a um, link somewhere on the screen here and also in the description below so I'm really giving you a lot of resources and I'm trying to be as thorough as possible so that you can um, fix this problem the cheapest way ink nowadays can be very expensive so if you go out and buy a brand new printer from the store um, you can end up spending a lot of money in ink over time and that's why I'm kind of just wanting to create a new solution for you guys where you can you know because a lot of times they don't sell these models in the store or they end up getting outdated um, so you can only find them online and that's why I'm giving you the source to that now okay I really hope this was helpful Again, if you have any questions at all, go ahead and comment below. Uh, remember all the links that are in the, in the description for your benefit. Make sure to like and subscribe as well to my channel. That would be really greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching and until next time.